State watercraft officers complete vessel safety inspections as one of their many duties. In this video, we are going to discuss the equipment checked during a safety inspection. The safety equipment needed for your vessel is determined by where you are boating, the length of your vessel, and what type of engine your vessel has. During this video, we are going to inspect a power boat 16 to 26 feet in length with an outboard engine. In addition, the safety inspection would be for a power boat operating on Lake Erie and its tributaries. First, a watercraft officer will look to ensure the vessel has its required original registration paperwork and a current registration decal. He or she will also ensure that the numbers are properly displayed. They should be one solid color, block characteristic, three inches or greater, contrasting to the background, and read left to right. The registration decal should be six inches astern from the numbers. Next, the officer will check the required safety equipment. All the safety equipment must be readily accessible, in good working condition, and Coast Guard approved. One wearable life jacket is required for each person on board. It can be a type 1, 2, or 3, but they must be the proper size for that person. If you have an inflatable life jacket, you have to be wearing it. Next, the officer will check to ensure that you have a type 4 throwable device. It can be a seat cushion kind or the ring buoy. The officer will then check that you are not exceeding any of the limits noted on your capacity plate. Number of people on board, total weight, and engine horsepower will be checked. Power boats with any closed construction up to 26 feet in length are required to have one B1 fire extinguisher on board. Check the gauge to make sure it's still in the green. If you have a fire extinguisher without a gauge, ask a watercraft officer the next time you see one to show you how to properly check it. You have to have an anchor of sufficient weight and have enough line to properly anchor your vessel where you are boating. On Lake Erie and its tributaries, you will need three unexpired Coast Guard approved flares. Make sure they are both day and night approved and remember that they are good for three years. Next, the officer will verify that your outboard engine is properly ventilated. You will also need a sound producing device. This can be a horn that is installed on your boat or a whistle. We encourage everyone to put a whistle on your keychain in case your horn stops working. A safety signal horn will also suffice as a sound producing device. Lastly, the officer will check that your navigation lights are working properly. Make sure your stern light is high enough that it will be visible. Also verify that your red side light is on the port side and your green side light is on the starboard side. If you successfully pass a vessel safety inspection, you will be issued a safety decal. We look for this safety decal on the port window of the vessel. Ohio required safety equipment can be found on page 51 of the Ohio Boat Operator's Guide. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website at ohiodnr.gov or contact your local watercraft office. And remember, always get on board with a sober boater.